Hi everyone, this is uh, episode 7 of my Box Souls, Box Souls playthrough of Dark Souls 2. Uh, today we're going to be kind of fussing around a bit. Um, first we're going to be exploring a place called Belfry Luna, and then after that I'm going to be showing an alternate path from Forest of Fallen Giants to get to Lost Bastille. And then, if we have time, I might go towards the next bonfire in uh, this area. Uh, yeah. So first of all, the reason why I uh, I have to explain what happened. Um, I've done a ton of stuff off camera, and not that much stuff, but kind of a lot. Like, first of all, I'm at a ridiculous level for this point in the game. I got to 94, but that's because I've been wearing these uh, items to increase the souls I get to make the playthrough easier. I also went through and killed the Rotten at the end of Black Gulch to get, uh, or I killed the Giants there so I can get this better s staff, which is only marginally better, so I guess it was mostly a waste of time. But, uh, you know, whatever. Um, okay, so one second. Right, so where we are is this basement of Blast of Steel, and if we use this item thing, we can go through here. Um, this room, just a, like, storage room, just a box. I mean, nothing really fancy about it. Uh, so I was figuring out directions, and this is west. I believe this way is going west, if I'm taking east to be the moon that we could see. Uh, and uh, to the right... Wait a second here. No, this way. That would be the boss room that we fought the boss in. That we actually did that off camera. Um, so the first thing you notice about this area... I wonder how I get there. Can I get in there? Um, well, first of all, this is a PvP area, which is why there's this NPC here. You can join a covenant. Um, lots of dead bodies. Great. So it's basically just a tower uh, that I don't think I can get further into. I haven't noticed this until now, actually. Yeah, but just a plain tower. Nothing really fancy about it. Um, I can hear some wolves off in the distance. I'm not sure I can hear the bonfire from there. It's kind of it's kind of funny how sound zones in this game kind of go really far through walls. Uh, so this is an exit out to the north that takes us to a boss room. We'll go out there in a bit. Um, this place, I don't know, it can feel like some apartments, I guess, in Chicago. I mean, anywhere, really. Except without any furniture in them. They're just, like, apartments that you've just moved into. Um, and if we go up here, I could all, kill all the enemies. There's, like, five enemies that can't at once here. Um, it's a nice look. Out to the rest of the area. Uh, north, that's the tower where we we're going to go in a bit. Um, I don't know, this just reminds me of playgrounds, really. Like, super symmetrical, um, no apparent uses to them, just a bunch of little things you can look at. Uh, so this direction, if that way is north, this way would be south, and we would be able to see, like, rocks, like, makes sense, maybe. South and to our left is the rest of the area. Yeah, I think that's right. Anyways, not too much to say here, I mean, uh, this isn't super interesting to me, I guess. Maybe why I don't like this area too much. I mean, it would make kind of a cool... I, I don't like it because it's enclosed. I think this would be neat if these walls here were gone. Um, that's not possible because this, this is a tower, but I'm referring to, you know, if this was a piece of... This was like a room in, in isolation. Or not isolation, but removed from the tower setting and placed onto the ground. So we exit here, and we have a boss fight with gargoyles, which I already did, because no way I'm doing that on camera. You know, can look out to the ocean. 
back towards um, Majula. Oh, I wonder if we can actually see. Um, I wonder if this is a rock that we can actually see from the game in Majula. I'll show you guys, or everyone, in a bit. Uh, oh, I didn't see that. Okay. It kind of makes sense if this is east of the island, maybe. It wouldn't make sense to be west, because that's where the sun is. Uh, I don't know, it's a roof. I've never really been on a roof before, but I have been on slope surfaces, and you do get a feeling of falling off. This is a pretty big roof, so you feel pretty safe. Um, there was a roof in Milan, in Italy, that I was on once, and that was kind of neat. Uh, not really something that makes sense in real life, because slopes really can hurt your feet. Quite painful to walk on slopes. circle in the room. Which way am I looking now? I must be looking north. Oh yeah, I got kind of disoriented in that. Uh, no, I'm actually looking east. Uh, which would make sense because that's why I can't see the island, I think. Wait. I just don't, I don't know, I'm completely disoriented here. I think the island's to the west, which would make, make sense. Um, so I know they do pay attention to geography in this game a little bit. Um, so, what is it about this area? Uh, so if it's looking out to the east, then... Hmm. I don't know, just another one of those ramparts you can kind of walk out onto. Bonfire's really loud. Yeah, I mean, the ocean is still kind of calming compared to Majula, but, you know, it's also more foreboding because... There's nothing in the distance in this view. Pause for a second. All right, so down there are a lot of dogs. I'm not really, I'm not gonna go down there just because it's a pain in the ass to work through. But uh, I, well, I'll go down the ladder and show you. Um, not all the way down. Enough that I can talk about it. So, so this area reminds me of the Capra Demon boss fight, and that's because of those stairs that you can go up and then jump down. Uh, that's about it. I don't really know why this room. I mean, I, like, what this room would function in terms of the area. It's just this small little courtyard. But it does add to the motif of Lost Bastille and how it kind of has these mot has, a uh, has, like, a motif of small courtyards that seem like city alleys. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much all of Belfry Luna. So I'm gonna pause for now, and I'll come back, um, to talk about, uh, another way to go to the to get to this area. So I'm gonna be warping. Yeah, so this is where I am. It's back it's it's the westward facing view in Forest of the Fallen Giants. Where you can see the sunset. I don't know why I picked that up. Uh, and we go through this door. Great. Use the soldier key. Uh, another staircase. This place is for fighting, you know. Uh, oh! Not useless. Whoa! Um, uh, more staircases. So this is going north. I'm going northwards. There's a statue we can see from the outside. I think we can actually see that statue. If we uh, boss. Yeah, this view is of the ocean to the west. Uh, so this is pretty much just a, uh... Yeah, another little, like, northwards passage. Um, and then there's, like, a little 
section here with the boss. Uh, the boss is the pursuer. I'll put that in the con in the comments. Um, I'm not gonna record it, but I'll unpause it when I'm finished fighting. Oh, there's a cutscene. I didn't know. Anyways, uh, there it is. So that is easy, of course. Uh, so the pursuer. Ring of Blades, nothing really useful uh, for a magic build, but that's okay, that doesn't matter. Um, so here again is that nice view towards the west. Uh, and uh, you can actually see part of this from Majula, this giant, or there's like a giant head thing around here somewhere. There, maybe, that thing, I don't know. Um, so this is a place you're actually going to visit later in the game, and it's just a remnant of a battlefield. Uh, I don't know, it's just more of kind of like ruins, porn. There's actually, I don't know, there's places in California where you can look over the cliff. I don't live in California, but I talk about it a lot. Uh, I've lived there a while ago, and I visit there every now and then. Um, we look down here, you know, it's scenic again. Of course, you wouldn't want to fall, or you wouldn't want to swim down there. It just feels very treacherous. You know, because you could just put water, and it's there's it's not as treacherous. But when you add in that little contrast of having these like pointy things sticking out of there, the rocks, it changes the feel. Um, and it also, you know, it, there's a difference in how this structure we're walking on feels if there's a giant cliff fall there, versus um, if there wasn't a cliff to fall off of. If it was just like ground or something. Uh, yeah, so we're going to keep walking uh, southwards. Uh, oh. So we can fall down there and get to where, I don't, I don't know, there's a, a dude. Oh. It's a memory tree. Uh, this is pretty much similar to the other space, except there's this, like, it, see what I mean? It's it's not as unsafe feeling here, because, you know, you could fall down there. So, in terms of creating, like, a sense of fear and falling, you know, you can use different heights to that effect, I think. Uh, this will take you to the Lost Bestial. Um, we'll go there in a second. But we can fall down here. And... Are there any items? There's gotta be an item. I'm more just doing this to show the feeling of falling. Yeah, there's a thing. Try and like... Yep. So that's falling back down to here. Um, I'm gonna unpause. See you guys. See everyone in a bit. Okay, uh, taking this... This is just some bird. This is weird, I don't know. Bird just. Yeah, he's like, What's up, bird? Picks us up. Flies us to. Lost Bastille. Bastille. Bach Bastille. I don't care how to pronounce it, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, okay, loading. Back here. Uh, bonfire. Okay, I'm gonna stop the episode here. And then we'll talk about more later. Okay, bye bye.